بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Good morning to all students of class 6 once again we are here for the next topic of chapter number Seven, getting to know plants. As in the first class, we have started this chapter, getting to know plants, and uh, we have discussed one system, root system. Root system we have discussed already, and now today we are going to discuss the shoot system because the plant have two types of system as in human being as in animals a lot of systems are working in our body like circulatory system like excretory system like reproductive system like respiratory system so or digestive system all these systems are working by different organs likewise when we uh, see towards the plant when we uh, study the plant the plants have their own organs and these organs make the systems so for example like root root is the organ of the plant like leaf leaf is the organ of the plant stem is the organ of the plant flower is the organ of the plant fruit is the organ of the plant bud is the organ of the plant so these are different organs which are working collectively to perform different functions for the growth and development of the plant because from the production of the plant when the seed is grown into the uh, soil uh, their function starts till the growth of the plant because it's a continuous process so stem leaves flower fruits these are the organs which make one system and this system is called shoot system and uh, main or tap root and uh, uh, these smaller roots root hair they form another system that is called root system this is a portion this is a part which divide these two systems like a root system is under the ground and shoot system is above the ground means all the organs which are present above the ground which we can see clearly easily uh, because they are visible these organs make the shoot system the stem all the branches all the leaves all the uh, flowers fruits they make the shoot system so today we are going uh, to discuss the shoot system as shoot system contains stem leaves flowers and fruits but we are going to discuss only two parts today one of them is stem and the other is leaf these two uh, organs are going to discuss today that what is the function of the stem what is actually the stem and uh, what is their function how it is going to help the plant why it is necessary and uh, same like leaf what are leaves what are they made up of and uh, why they are made up of which things are present in the leaf because when we uh, talk about the plants and animal one thing is very different in plants and animals like plants can prepare their own food but animals cannot prepare their own food this is the main big difference between the plants and animal and how they can prepare their own food which thing differentiate them from the animals because this ability that they can prepare their own food why they can prepare their own food we will discuss today because that is the part leaf this is the organ leaf which make them different from the uh, animal cells okay so uh, the shoot system 
as it is present in your book at page number 72. Open your books at page number 72, the shoot system. It is the part of the plant which grows above the soil. Above the soil, whatever is present, that is the shoot system. This includes stem, branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. These makes the shoot system. Root system we have discussed already. So, uh, the first part is stem which we are going to discuss. It is the main portion of the plant. Starting from the, from here, it is the portion from where the root grows and goes under the ground. Deeper and deeper, why? It go downwards, uh, down towards the water because under the soil there is water and roots absorb water and minerals because water and minerals are necessary for plants growth for the preparation of food. So they go deeper. This is the part, the part stem from where the roots grow and down deeper and deeper into the soil for the absorption of water and minerals. So this is a portion from where the stem is a part from where the root grows and goes downward towards the water into the soil and it is the part from where different branches, leaves, flowers, fruits appear because this part, this portion, this portion is called stem. These are the hard part of plants and normally its color is dark brown, brown or black. So the strong and hard part of the plant is called stem. So uh, let's read from here. It is the main portion of the plant from the base of which the roots arise and grow underground. The stem gives rise the number of branches that bears leaves because the branches grow from the stem. It is uh, as it is strong so it keeps the plants erect in the uh, environment or the, in the soil. And these uh, are the roots which hold which keep them uh, uh, firmly hold into the ground. So, stem is a hard part from where the roots appear, from where the branches, leaves, fruits and uh, flowers appear. So, uh, this is stem. So, what is the, what are the function of stem? As it is hard or strong part, so it provides support to the plant to maintain their body in the air. Because uh, we know very well that sometime uh, there is a very strong wind. But plants remain standing. Why? Why? Because the, due to the roots and stem, they give support to the plant. And next function is that they bear important plant parts. Important plant parts. What does it mean? Why it is said that stem bears important plants part? <coughs> because stem bears leaves, stem bears fruits, stem bear branches. So these fruits, fruits which uh, are present on the plants like mango, orange and or rest of all the uh, plants. It is not necessary. It is tree. But plants may be small, may be bigger, may be like uh, uh, creeping plants or like something. A lot of types of plants are present. But we are talking about the plants. So, uh, it bear important pla uh, plant parts. One important part is leaf because leaf is the part where they prepare their own food. The food for the plant 
and food for the rest of the animals because we use plants and plants different parts as our food like sometimes we are using uh, fruits we are using vegetables we are using uh, seeds we are using flowers we are using leaves as vegetables or like something so in all the parts sometimes we are using roots like carrot so all the plant parts are uh, can be the food of other animals so it is important because it bears important uh, part leaf and leaf prepare food and this food is used by plants and the rest of the food is stored in the uh, other parts of the plant help in transportation of water and food this is the portion which is connected with the roots and inside the stem there are few tubes there are a lot of tubes these are called vascular tubes these are called vascular tubes xylem and uh, xylem and phloem xylem and phloems are the tubes through which the water and minerals are absorbed and are taken to the aerial part of the plant and the food which is prepared in the leaves that that is also transported by these tubes so these are called xylem and phloem which you will read in the further next classes so it is a little uh, introduction that help in transportation transportation uh, food is transported from the leaves because the leaves prepare the food to all the parts of the plant including uh, stem roots or uh, flowers everything and the water and mineral is absorbed by the roots and it is taken through the stem to the all parts of the plant so these are the important function so uh, here is an activity you can uh, do this experiment if you take a white color flower with the stem and cut it take a uh, glass of water and put few red ink drops into the water and keep this plant uh, flower into that for 3 to 4 days what will happen after 3 to 4 days you will see that this white color flower is changed to red color because the tubes which are present in this stem through these tubes the the water goes up and this red color ink also go with the water particle into the flower and its color has changed so it is the proof that there are few uh, tubes are present inside the stem uh, as we talk about the uh, underground stem sometime the plants have underground stem and roots uh, underground stem the example of underground stem is potato and ginger which we use in our daily life uh, definitely you have seen that sometime potatoes if they remain present for few days a uh, few uh, like eyes are appear on it like uh the extra part is going to appear few buds are appear on it from these buds new branches and stem is arrived new leaves are arrived from these eyes and uh, it may change into if we will grow if we grow it into this the uh, soil it change into a new plant and uh, this underground stem will produce a lot of potatoes uh, likewise ginger ginger is another example of uh, underground stem and the food is stored in the ginger uh, in the stem food is stored in the uh, stem uh, like potatoes and we use these stem as the food next is leaf so uh, leaf has two Uh, different functions one of them uh, you have seen leaves of different types some leaves are bigger some leaves are smaller some leaves are very thin some leaves are very 
uh, lush green, sometimes they are ferret green, sometimes they are yellow, means their color, their size, their shape, their thickness is different to different plants, trees. Uh, but their function is the same. What is their function? That there are two types of function which are performed by the leaves. One of them is transpiration and the other is preparation of food. First, we are going to uh, discuss. Uh, let's read first uh, about the leaf. You must have seen leaves of varied shape, size, thickness and position on different plants. The common features of all the leaves are that they are green in color and prepare food for plants. This is the common feature that they are green in color mostly and they prepare food for the plants. And what is the function of the leaves? The first function is transpiration. Transpiration is a process. Transpiration is a process when leaves uh, evaporate water from their surface. Because the water which is absorbed by the roots, from the soil through roots, water is absorbed by plant, it goes to the aerial part of the plant. In the leaves, it transpirates, means it moves from the plants through the leaves into the environment. This process is called transpiration. It's, a, it's also a continuous process and it uh, goes uh, more when there is more uh, light, more heat and when the weather becomes dry, more transpiration takes place. So, let's see what is transpiration, what is written in your book. The process of losing water by the leaves of the plant is called transpiration. The process of losing water by leaves of the plant is called transpiration. Now you have understood what is transpiration? When the leaves are going to leave, when the leaves are going to leave the water into the environment, this process is called transpiration. It's a continuous flow of water through the plants from the roots to the leaves. This is called transpiration system. Okay, if you want to see the process of normally we cannot see that water is going to evaporate or water is leaving the leaves. But today you can do the experiment. If you have a potted plant at your home, take that potted plant and take a polythene bag. You just cover the whole plant with the polythene bag and tie the polythene bag uh, with the stem. Take a thread and tie it on the stem. Means you will invert the polythene bag on the plant and you will tie at the stem. But necessary is that that plant should be watered first. Uh, maximum amount of water should be present in that pot. So keep this plant in the sunshine. Then after two to three hours or maybe after just one hour or uh, even after the half an hour, see, observe that plant which you have tied with the polythene bag. What will happen? The water vapors are present in the under surface of the polythene bag. So from where this water has come? This is the water which the leaves are leaving continuously because the process of transpiration is taking place continuously. During the summer, uh, uh, you have seen that plants become very uh, like they wither. In the whole day, they wither and their leaves become very uh, soft or like something. Why? Because the process of transpiration is very strong on the summer days due to the heat. And when in the evening, when we water the plant, they become fresh. Their position of the leaves become normal. So, uh, you can observe, but after the observation of the transpiration, don't forget to untie that polythene bag from your plant, otherwise that will 
destroy. So uh, do that experiment at your home. And you will observe the transpiration, the loss of water from the leaves. Next is preparation of food. For example, this is a leaf. Okay, this is a leaf uh, and it is attached with the branch. Okay, so this is uh, a green color leaf. The color of the leaf is due to the presence of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is present inside the leaves. Chlorophyll is a green color pigment which traps the sunlight. The property of the chlorophyll is that it traps sunlight. Why? Because the sunlight is necessary for the preparation of food. In these leaves, chlorophyll is already present and it is performing their function that it is going to trap the sunlight and due to this sunlight, uh, okay, for example, this is sun. They take the sunlight from the sun. They take sunlight from the sun. And chlorophyll is a pigment, green color pigment, which traps the sunlight. Now, the water. Water is absorbed through the roots. Water is absorbed through the roots and goes into the leaves. So, water is coming from the soil. Water and mineral. Chlorophyll is present. Water and mineral is uh, absorbed from the soil and reaches to the leaves. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas which is present in the air. Carbon dioxide is necessary for the production of the food in the leaves. Carbon dioxide, for example, this is air and CO2. CO2 is the carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is taken from the air. Carbon dioxide is taken from the air because under, at the under surface of the leaves there are small pores through which carbon dioxide gas enters into the leaves. Now water has reached into the leaves, chlorophyll is already present which is going to trap the sunlight and carbon dioxide has entered through the stomata. Stomata are the small pores which are present at the under surface of the leaves and carbon dioxide has entered into the leaves. Now these three things are necessary for the production of the food and now the process of photosynthesis takes place due to which the food of the plant is prepared. This food is prepared in the form of glucose. This glucose is uh, prepared in the leaves and send it to all other parts of the plant. Which other part? Like the stem, like the uh, other uh, shoots, like the fruits, like the flowers, like the roots. So this glucose is carried to other parts of the plant. This is used by the plant for different purposes. But rest of the food in the form of glucose, it is stored into the plants, in the fruits, in sometimes it is stored into the stem, sometimes it is stored into the roots. If they are modified to store this food, means the excess food is stored into the different parts of the plants and this stored food in the form of roots, in the form of roots, in the form of stem, the other animals are going to use. This is why that 
leaves are important because they are going to prepare the food. Okay, this food is stored in the form of starch. Normally, in the uh, summer season, they uh, the process of uh, photosynthesis is more due to the more uh, availability of light. So this food is stored in the fruits, in the stem, in the roots and we use these fruits, roots and stems as our food. So these were the important function and this was a method of preparing food. Which three things are necessary? The things chlorophyll, water and carbon dioxide, these are the uh, necessary thing and these things prepare the food and this food is prepared in the form of uh, glucose and glucose is stored in the form of starch into the plants. Now uh, our topic is finished and now come towards the homework. Open your books at page number 78 assessment 2. Uh, here <coughs> you will do two question as a homework. One of them is how do uh, we say that potato is an underground stem. You will uh, write the answer from the book and uh, uh, no homework uh, yes in the homework folder questions are present but you will write the answer from the book. Second question you will attempt from the uh, part C. Part C Differenti uh, differentiate between the following and its first part you will do root system and shoot system. You will differentiate between the root system and shoot system. I have explained uh, properly uh, and you can also take the help from the book. These are two questions which you will do as a homework. Uh, the homework is present in the homework folder and uh, uh, one more thing. In the third week, upcoming week is the third week. So in the third week homework folder of science, you will have another task. That another task is about the science project or assignment. Okay. So uh, for class 6, your assignment is draw a diagram which show the water cycle. Draw a diagram which show the water cycle. For uh, taking the help, you can open the chapter number 14, water. Chapter number 14, water, uh, see that in your book. Uh, chapter number 14, water and there is a water cycle. Uh, this is chapter number 14, water at page number 143 and this is a uh, water cycle. See, see this picture at page number 146. This is a water cycle. You may take help from here or you may take help from the internet. Draw a beautiful diagram which show the water cycle and uh, take a picture of this diagram. Write uh, and send it. Send it to the WhatsApp number of uh, Zamantown campus. But don't forget to write your name, your class and subject science project. Okay, uh, because you will be given 10 marks for this uh, assignment. So what you will do, you will take a uh, computer paper, you will draw a beautiful diagram, you will label it and you will take a picture and send it to WhatsApp number of the educator Zamantown campus. Uh, okay, so uh, your homework is over, your science project is given and you will find uh, this homework in the third week of homework folder science. So uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, make a beautiful diagram, send it and take care, Allah Hafiz, till the next